Hello once again. Uh, I'm here with another uh, how-to video. Um, I'm going to show how I paint my track or how I'm going to. Uh, I've been playing around with a couple different ideas on how I want to do it. I've done it a couple different ways. This is going to be a new one for me. Uh, I've already done a piece of track already and I like the way it turned out so I think I'm going to do the whole layout this way. Um, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. And if you like it, you can do it. If not, you can do the way you want to do it. Um, <clears throat> I didn't feel like messing with an airbrush. And I didn't feel like hand painting everything. So, uh, I'm going to do it this way. I think it's going to be fairly quick and easy. And uh, I like the results. So, first thing, uh, first thing you want to get can of Rust-Oleum Camouflage Brown. You can get that at Walmart or wherever. Uh, I did get this at Walmart. Uh, I think it was four dollars and something for a big can of it, which will go a long ways. Uh, so the first thing I do is spray on a spray the whole track down. I'm going to use that as kind of a base coat. Make sure you get the inside, outside of the rail ties. Go back and forth. Put a nice coat on. Try it this way. Like I said, get make sure you get both sides. Actually got that one a little thicker than I like, but you get the idea of what I'm what I'm doing. And while it's still wet, doesn't hurt to also wear latex gloves or something. Keep you from having a Try to get paint off your hands. Uh, take a piece of wood or uh, maybe an old credit card wrapped in a paper towel. Uh, this is actually a piece of a clothespin. Um, you can get a bag of them at the dollar store for like a buck. And just run that across the top of your rails and it takes your paint right off. Do that and then if you want you can wipe it also. Whatever works easier for you. Like I said, you can put like a uh, old credit card or something inside a paper towel and just go across the rails quick. Do it while it's still wet, you know. Then you don't have any uh, paint on there. And now you want to let that dry. Okay, now that your camouflage. Uh, spray paint, brown spray paint is dry. Uh, the nice thing about this is uh, some people will be content with just the way it is and leave it there. That's actually what I did with my previous layout. Uh, but I kind of didn't like that dark of a brown for the rails. So uh, this time around I'm going to use a flow quill paint marker, rail brown. Uh, I've never experimented with these before now and uh, like I said I, I just did a test piece already before and uh, before I started this piece to show you and I really like the way it turned out. These things are super easy. Uh, I like it. So next step you want to do take your uh, flow coil paint marker go right along the rail. This is rail brown I'm using. Do both the inside and the outside. Try to do this without my arm in the way for you. I'm not left-handed, so. Kind of hard for me to do since I'm not left-handed. Should have put the camera on the other side. The nice thing about about this is having the uh, spray paint on there. That kind of gave a nice base coat for the paint marker or the paint and the marker to stick to. And you just go right along the rails. Uh, 
paint's not coming out of this very well here for this time around, but that's that. Now, that's got to dry, but to take it another step further, you could use the rail tie brown paint marker because it's a, just a little bit, it's a little bit lighter brown than the uh, brown that we painted the whole track with, the camouflage brown. So you can go across some of the tie with that. You don't have to, but you know that'll give a little bit different different color to the ties. If you think the camouflage paint is just a little too dark, you don't have to do this step. It's purely optional, but and you don't have to get crazy with it. You know, railroad ties aren't. They're not all the same color. You know, they got various shades of color in them. So you can just kind of just a quick skim over it. Don't be too concerned about getting paint on the rails. That'll easily come off. But we'll let that dry. If there is any little bit of paint on it that's still wet, that dried pretty quick. All you have to do, you can do it now, you can wait till it's completely dry. Take a bright boy, just skim across it. Make sure you get all the paint off the top of the rails where well, you don't run into any issues. That's it. Now, as soon as that completely dries, I'm going to take a picture of it so I can get a nice close-up picture of it for you and I'll flash that up and uh, you'll see before and after pictures you can make up your mind whether you want to do it this way or or not thanks for watching everybody and uh, have any questions ask leave some comments talk to everybody later